Hey guys, hope you're having a super Saturday. Thanks for taking time to share a cup with us. What do you want for Christmas? Guess what I want? I want pasta for Christmas. I want Ranzoni pasta for Christmas. Brand new segment. I want to thank the folks at Ranzoni for making it possible. We are showcasing uh, their healthy harvest line so pasta can be healthy. Thanks to Ranzoni Healthy Harvest. This morning, I am making one of my favorites. I have this literally once a year because it's that type of dish that when you eat one slice, you need a second. Possibly a little third later on in the afternoon. So I only have this Christmas time. I'm talking about lasagna. Some people make it throughout the year. Good for you. This is a Christmas dish for me. And thanks to Ranzoni, I can feel really, really good about my pasta and my lasagna because I'm having whole grain pasta this morning. So I'm going to show you how I do my pasta. There are very different ways to do your lasagna, um, but, but I like to do a bechamel cheese sauce. I like to do the cheese sauce. You can do cheese and egg mixture and do that layer, but I just love the creamy cheese sauce. We're going to give you the both recipes. Thanks to the folks at Ranzoni for making it happen. So let's get this lasagna cracking. I have to get a spoon for my meat sauce. This is how I like to build it. So I take a little bit of my meat sauce and just lay it at the base. Um, it's a greased dish, but what I, this purpose really is just to, not to have my pasta get all crunchy and crispy to the, to the base. So this kind of gives a nice, little, a nice little base just for the pasta to sit on and get all comfortable while it goes in the oven. You want your pasta to be comfortable while it's baking, right? Ronzoni pasta, layer number one. So it's good whole grain pasta, guys. You're going to be eating a lot over the holidays, so might as well do it in moderation and do it with a little healthy twist. That's what Ranzoni is here for. First layer. After that, I'm going back with meat sauce. So meat sauce, and I am layering. I like meat. <laughs> you know, ever since I've been eating lasagna, I've heard of different variations, people doing vegetarian lasagnas, and it's cool. I just don't get it. When you can have this luscious meat, why do you? Why would you want to do any other type of lasagna? Something they don't interfere with, and I think lasagna is one of them. From there, I have a cheese sauce, but what I want to do, guys, is that I just want to add some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, Parmesan cheese is just so good, and it really just brings together this cheese sauce so deliciously. In this cheese sauce, as I said, you can kind of go crazy with the cheeses and, and, and what you add. The recipe is on trainingcooks.com, so you can check it in terms of getting this right. It's so kind of important that you do get it right. So now you're going with your cheese sauce. And you really just liberally. The trick to this is as liberally as you want to do it, you don't want to overdo because remember it's layers and you want to get a little bit of everything in every bite. Another layer of Ronzoni pasta. Yes. This is fun too. Huh? I mean, it's, 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 it's good fun in the kitchen. I have another layer, so you're layering meat sauce again. fantastic this does remind me of Christmas because it is one of my Christmas favorites and then I'm going in with my cheese sauce again drizzling nice and liberally making sure kind of you cover all the areas you need to cover yeah I think I have room for one more layer If you recognize I'm kind of folding 
it's kind of overlapping so everything will be nice and tight so I'm going to do a little trick here for you now I'm going to reverse on this final I'm going to put some cheese sauce first instead of the meat sauce just to have some fun with it so I'm doing cheese sauce here first Some meat sauce. This is why I love to cook because you know not everything is a science. <laughs> I have chefs tell me that sometimes you know I, I experiment a little too much sometimes but you know that, that's how it goes. All right so I am now just going to do one more layer so you see sometimes you just get that there and to this now is the final topping guys this final topping i have cheddar cheese mozzarella cheese is kind of big deal for me because when you cook into that you want to get a nice little cheesy stringy kind of feel to it so cheddar cheese is good but adding some mozzarella cheese to this kind of really helps with the texture at the top so you just really want to mix in you grate your cheddar cheese but you mix in some mozzarella cheese there yeah this is where you can get messy feel free yeah and once you get that all mixed in there this just kind of goes to the top of your pasta I like a cheesy meaty lasagna saucy just the right amount of sauce is kind of important for me um, so that's why I go with the cheese sauce one of the things you would see on the Ranzoni recipe card is they would have used ricotta cheese um, they would have used some shredded mozzarella as well and some parmesan and what, would, what they would have done instead of just instead of making the cheese sauce as, as, as we would have done this morning they would have mixed in that combination of cheeses with some eggs and then a, 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 a layer with actual cheese you can do it that way it's up to you it's totally up to you i like it as i said nice and saucy and cheesy and that's why the cheese sauce works for me all right this as it is goes into the oven 375 degrees and bakes up guys and while that bakes make sure it gets all nice and bubbly toasty brown to the top and I tell you when that comes out to me it's Christmas morning Christmas morning after my ham and everything my Christmas lunch is with lasagna I want to thank the folks at Ronzoni for making it possible I want pasta for Christmas anybody out there make sure you get me Ronzoni pasta for Christmas guess what guys <laughs> I have it right here this is what it looks like now usually i have a couple other plates around here for christmas christmas morning but this morning i'm being i'm being good and i want to just pair I, I normally like to have my wine and with this hearty dish the vina maipo is one of the perfect blends to go with it it's a hearty red wine intense flavor and yeah it's just the perfect wine to go with my ronzoni lasagna look at that guys yeah mm. that's just pure heaven and I'm eating healthy thanks to whole green healthy harvest ronzoni pasta come on back guys I have a lot still to do guess who's here Alison Hines. She is my soca crush. My very first soca crush. Alison Hines is in the building. Come on back. This one was brought to you by the folks at Ronzoni. I want pasta for Christmas. What do you want? <laughs>